<laughs> I knew where your eyes were going all the well, time. Well, I couldn't help it. <laughs> I knew I was safe. I couldn't help it. <laughs> I'm dressed from neck to knee. Yeah, thank goodness for that. Aren't the, the kiddies will love that too, the fact that you are. All right, let's get in the first letter. Dear Stan of Beauties, um, I'm an avid rugby league fan and a supporter of the Canterbury Bulldogs but I'm no longer able to take my family to the games because of all the violence. The truth is, Stan, the fans who are causing the trouble are from a particular ethnic group. But none of the papers can report this fact because of the laws of this country. Why is it that when you speak the truth in Australia, you're threatened with legal action or labelled a racist? Sal, on the email, Gretel, what do you think? Well, I am completely ignorant of this entire subject, that. and so I would like somebody to help me. Is this other ethnic groups that are being violent at rugby league matches? Yeah, there are. Over the last few years, all right, you're a football expert. You're on the fat on the ABC. You talk about sport all the time. Well, basically what's happened is that the Canterbury Bulldogs have moved from Belmore Park to Sydney Olympic State to, to the showground. And what's happened is that there's been a lot of vandalism on trains and in certain elements of the grandstand you can't take your family anymore because they are seriously quite violent. And the, ma the matches have erupted and each time there's been a home game for the Canterbury Bulldogs this season there's been a lot of trouble. But so what, a lot of families have stopped going. But what's the ethnicity of all of this? Do, is it a well, particular <clears throat> ethnic group? They're talking about it and, and the Premier of New South Wales has talked about it. The former Federal Police Minister has talked about it. The present Police Commissioner of New South Wales has talked about it, the Victorian Police Commission has talked about it, and the fact is there are ethnic gangs going around to different what, sporting what? groups. What? Ethnicity well, okay. of what? Well, in, OK. In this particular instance, there are Lebanese gangs, there are Asian gangs, there are all sorts of gangs that are going around. But people seem to be afraid about talking about they're these Australians. ethnic they're children gangs. children that were born in Australia. Sure, sure. No they are argument. Asian, they are Australian gangs. No, no arguing about that. No arguing about that, but they are being described as either Asian gangs, Lebanese gangs, be. Czechoslovakian and your mate, the gangs. The police commissioner wants them to be, so does Bob Carr. No, and that's well, irresponsible for social leaders. I think that's a bit naive of you, actually. Is it? Yes, I don't yeah. know if you have many friends who are you of don't Italian. Have many friends at all. You just said you don't know about the issue. No, I'm talking about the issue that you've just raised, right. actually, Jan, which is yes. that many, many people who are second generation immigrants to this country fully identify with the country of their parents' origin. So for you to say that. that How some... do you propose to speak for these people? How do you know this? Oh, probably uh, through well, my observation and through the relationships I have with good friends. It is, fact, it is a fact that they, if you are um, um, from a Lebanese family, you do associate yourself as being from Lebanon and That's of that exactly culture. Right. You know, there's Get no question there about have that. A look at these gangs, you'll find they are not just one race. There is a mixture. There are Aussies in there as well with these gangs. I've seen them, and I, I've, I've done this. I've done a beef on this problem because I was saying that what happened to the days that you could just pick up your family and your kids and go and have a safe day at the footy. And what I'm, what I'm, what I'm trying, to, what I was trying to get across that day was why is it that the football establishments can't come out and do something and come down strongly on because it's only a minority group of these people that are doing this and why can't the well they said it on the so because it's a so mixture you can't you can't say it's just one particular race no, you because can't. it's made you up can't. of a mixture. It's a mixture of people Not, they're gangs no. they're gangs and when you'll find that most gangs around sydney you might you know they say oh there's a chinese gang there's an ethnic gang but you'll find in most of those gangs there's a lot of aussie kids too Yes, because they're that's true. That's no, that's no, no Jan, then, they're not all also kids. Not Jan, not. let me just ask you a question. <clears throat> if if a, a, a man had robbed a bank and he's running down the street oh, okay. and they sent out a, a police uh, notice to say there is a Chinese man who's just robbed the bank running down the street, is that wrong? It is wrong. Why? We haven't well, been so caught, if there are, hang on, if there are ten men running down the street and one of them is Chinese and the police says there is a Chinese man running down the street who's just robbed the bank. What would you wrong. go for? The Chinese man or the other nine nine people who are not Chinese? Well, the police, the police because they must have a, Caucasian. You must have a description, a perfect yes, description the of the person is, running down the street. Racial, sorry, if there are ahead. ten people running down the street and one of them is of Asian appearance, That's you can pretty much guarantee it's the person of Asian appearance who'll get reported. No, that's, no, exactly. no, that's the way no, it works. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. No, that's no, the if, way the media if the policeman... If, because it's popular. If a policeman... No, 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 no. It, it I'm not meaning well that at all. Radio. If the policeman had said that a Chinese man has robbed the bank, right, mm -hmm. and he's running down the street, does he say 
there is a man running down the street with a blue denim jacket, or does he say there is a Chinese man it's running down? To what you said no, before. it's not at all. It's not it, at it all. Is it Dan. is being perfect in I your think description. You should be able to give it a description, of course. But but what Sal doesn't realise is, would Sal actually prefer to live in a country where racial vilification was absolutely okay, where you can tar everybody of a particular race with exactly the same brush? That is the central point here, and that's the point yeah, that we're the missing. The bottom line is that you've got to go to the football and you've got to feel safe. And as that's Carlotta right. said, it's not about whether or not you're Lebanese or Chinese or if you're you know of the third generation we're Australian. All, we're all guilty of it. When I got mugged that time I got asked to describe who attacked me and I just automatically because he was dark I said he was an ethnic guy. And quite honest, after a couple of days, I felt a bit guilty saying that because when they did catch one of them, it was just a plain old red-headed ginger bloody Aussie. OK, Fiona, what do you think of it all? Um, well, the, the, sent, the, the paragraph in this, why is it that when you speak the truth in Australia, you're threatened with legal action or labelled a racist? I mean, just commenting on that particular thing, and I mean, I agree about the violence at football, it's awful, but... Um, it's, it's frustrating sometimes because there's such an emphasis placed on political correctness and, you know, you, you get, it sometimes becomes a censorship, censorship of communication because everyone's worried about saying the wrong thing. And it's the same with, you know, when you're talking about um, homosexuality or whatever, any kind of minority group, it gets hard sometimes um, to feel that you're not going to put your foot in it and say the wrong thing and misrepresent your intention because the whole subject and the way that we communicate about this sort of stuff now is so tiptoeing. You know, yes, because of being politically correct. Though in saying that, um, I agree that uh, the people, these gangs, are Australian gangs. They're, they're gangs in Australia See, doing this stuff, and it's not good. We have the racial vilification laws mm. at, because it protects people. Because people like Sal, that the price Sal's paying because we have these laws is you can't shoot your ugly mouth but off and generalise deny, about racial tendencies. Do you but deny that there are Lebanese there gangs? Do you deny? Do you deny I that there are do. Lebanese gangs? Yes, I but deny. It. You, hang on. So you children, deny? You deny that there are? Are you denying that there are, are, you denying that there are mean, Lebanese gangs? I, I believe there are boys if you out do, there behaving badly. Are you but they do, are Australian do you deny Lebanese descent? Do you deny you that there Lebanese are Asian gang, gangs shut as well? That's up and let me Do you speak. deny that there are Asian gangs and Lebanese yes, gangs? Yes, I do and deny. How many times? Well, do I then have to you say would it? have to be an F stroke wit if you did. I don't. What I have to say is that you can't vilify these people without collateral damage. The Collateral damage are all the good citizens of Lebanese or Asian descent, and they no are one, bloody fine no citizens. No one is saying just so because they... So why take cheap shots, shot jocks like you, no and blabbermouths like Sal take cheap shots at, at particular racial groups and you're minority like, groups? You're like your friend next to you who don't understand the like difference Gretel, between racism and criticism. No, you well, don't you understand the difference between... See, calling calling I'm not allowed to criticise anybody. Calling a group a Lebanese gang, but if, if they all are, of those kids have been born in Australia, how do you? You call oh, them but if you want to kids of Lebanese it. descent. I, I mean, I know that you live in a particularly white suburb. I know that you do. I don't know that you do. All right? There are some realities that people need to face. For many people, oh, the un... neighbourhood. Well, let me finish my my comment, right. please. The unifying factor for many people in this country is their ethnic origin. It is not the fact that their ancestors to be, well that doesn't even make sense, that, that Walsing Matilda is the song that we sing here. It's got nothing to do with that. They more readily identify with a Lebanese background. And with we, a, well, let me finish. And we let don't allow finish. them to let assimilate. If we say they're no longer they're Australian, no, they're Lebanese. But that's let what we should be finish. doing in this country. We should be assimilating rather than this multicultural crap that you're we go on to. You're, no, you're being naive, Jane. You're being God's naive. Sake. In a perfect but world, everybody comes here. We all have the same value system. We all wear the same clothes. We all have the same religion. Happen? It doesn't work it like doesn't that. It doesn't work that way I've because the simple reason honest. what they've done in Australia is put these groups in different places. They haven't intermingled them all together properly. You know, you will not go to the North Shore and see in Mossman or anywhere like that. You will not see a lot of these groups living that. You have to go out to Cabramatta, all right, to see Chinese. You have to go out to what's the name to see Italians or somewhere else to see Greeks. But, it's, but that's what's happened with this. So what this is what's happened. It's divided everyone, and it's totally wrong. So let's I, you know, like. The but only mixture I really see is in King's not Cross feel because I've in this lived country. there. I mean, you walk down King's Cross, and I mean, it's an well, awful thing. Meaning, you say, I'll spot an Aussie.
You know, that's how it's become. But how can you okay. say that? You don't know that those people weren't born in Australia. Look, can I just ask Rebecca a question? Well, what has this done to sport, and in particular rugby league? Well, I've stopped taking my kids to uh, Canterbury Games. We used to go to every home game, the mm. Canterbury Bulldogs. But you do that because it's a ugly, violent, physical sport, wouldn't you? No, I love oh, the sport. I would, I it's wouldn't. a great oh, sport. It's, hideous. it's, it's fantastic sport. Jan likes to go to the boxing. Uh, oh, yeah. We're going to come back and we're going to talk about a lonely man who looks for Russia for love. That's exciting.